Decisions like that just simply cannot be made without having a robust public engagement. New steps to make sure taxpayers have input on whether the library sells a big piece of downtown real estate. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cami Deerking. I'm Rob Braun. The north building of Cincinnati's main library has not been sold and is not for sale yet. That is the message today from library leaders called to speak to Hamilton County Commissioners. Joe Webb joins us now live with exactly what's going on. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammy. you know, the future of the North Building of the Public Library is up in the air, but we do know a couple of things. They are moving out all the public departments, the Children's Library, the Teen Spot, Makerspace, and Homework Center, into the South Building, the big building. They're getting an appraisal to see if the North Building is worth selling, but no decision has been made on that yet. And commissioners made it clear today when that decision is made, they want it made in the full light of day, not behind closed doors. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. County like Commissioner's Monday staff every... meeting drew a crowd this morning. Opponents of selling the North Building packed the meeting between commissioners and library staff and library board members. They claim big decisions have been made without public input. This is why, part of why it's so important for us to keep the pressure up on them to tell them that we are not going to allow them to sell this, this North Building um, because once we sell it, the public is not going to get it back. Library Director Kim Fender calmly laid out the library's $54 million plan to update and make accessible all 41 branches, including downtown. That plan includes repurposing or, or selling the 21-year-old North Building that they say is really no longer needed. We don't believe so. Uh, only 24% of this entire building is even used for public space at this point, and adding that 32,000 square feet to the south building um, will fit easily and still leave room for additional growth and services in the future. Fender says all the downtown space is not needed like it was in 1997, primarily because of changes in online research. Our visit counts to this library have dropped by 100,000 or more in the past couple of years. Commissioners had a few questions for their visitors, but mainly wanted to make the point that any decision on that building needs to be made in the full light of day. Whether that's a series of public hearings or electronic public hearings or um, surveys being issued um, or a combination of all of the above. Library Board President Alan G. Zaring IV promised public engagement and was immediately engaged by the public as the meeting adjourned. Zaring and the other library guests were escorted out a back way and he declined to be interviewed. Now the plan is in place to start moving things out of the North Building. Kim Fender says that she will listen to public input and says she's already been listening to public input so far, but she's quick to point out that listening to the public input doesn't mean it's going to sway their decision or that they will agree with what those people have to say. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cammie? Okay, Joe, thank you.